Hello and welcome to my home. My name is Jackie. I was, I had a great day today at work. We had so much fun. I used that pink tote over there. Can you see, actually, there we go. Mr. Watson's hanging out on the dog bed. Bag Mountain is present. This is going to be a Timu haul. And I have no idea when you're going to see this. I have so much stuff filmed and pre-filmed and, and things coming in. It's just, it's ridiculous. But here we go. So, um, this, I don't remember what I ordered because it took so long to get here. A lot of people, when they do these Timu reviews, they'll tell you, oh, it come, came so fast. I think that was true in the beginning, and I think what's happened is it's very popular. And you only have to have a $10 minimum order, and then even when you have a larger order, they break up orders. So, I don't even know which order this is out of. I... I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of random stuff in here because that is what Timu is good at. But I do purchase things I want and use because that's how I roll. Um, <laughs> the first time ever my husband's like, that's useful. Um, this is a decal for my car. This one is very large and I think I got one in multicolor. But this must be the back side of it that's in silver. Um, that's a lot larger than I thought that was going to be. We got two of them. I like the way they ship these though because everything that's flat because they're in these containers they tend to squish and they don't turn out that well. And this is another um, car decal. And if you hear a ding my computer is doing pop-ups just the way it is. I have some really cool foam shoe inserts. We'll see how these work out. I put new inserts in all my shoes. There's Mr. Milo. And so I'm always on the lookout for the best ones because I constantly having to buy new ones and throw them out. My shoes last much longer than the insoles do. Um, so, and this is, this is very, ooh, this is, this is a lot. I, you know, normally when you see a Timu review, I thought that was um, bigger. This is, I thought this was smaller. <laughs> when I saw the image. They do a lot of image enhancement. So what is this? This is a shoe dryer, essentially. Or shoe hanger to dry. Uh, a lot of my shoes, most of my shoes, are all machine washable. But they always mean you have to hang dry, line dry, dry it. You can't just throw it in the dryer. Um, so this contraption, you slip each side of your shoe here and here hanging up and it can dry and I didn't realize I bought 10 of those apparently I bought I have to double check but apparently I bought a quantity of 10 pieces which if this is a two-part peat this is a lot more than 10 yeah I, I, I'll have to double check the quantities because that seems like I maybe bought two orders okay I bought a bunch of lipsticks I'm not gonna open these because this this package just came from the post box and it's all warm so when lipsticks come in like that I like them to get room temperature um, it's, it's, you know just hopefully stabilize again um, <laughs> this is um <coughs> excuse me this is an inside joke between me and my husband we're always constantly looking for measuring devices tape measures rulers measuring things and um they had these on timu for like i don't know if 90 cents or something so i bought two of these and these are just tape measures that i can have flying around because i guarantee you even though i just bought two of these i will lose them they will be lost one day in this house we will find 15 tape measures somewhere i even have one on my sewing kit and i'm like okay please don't lose this or put this back and then and then we lose it. This is a weird rubber seal that's going to go along this countertop and my stove to cover up that gap that every everyone does have. And this is, um, there's an adhesive strip on the back and it should just be a silicone so it can withstand the heat of a stove. We will see how that goes. I have no idea. I just saw it advertised so often. I'm like, fine, fine, fine. I'll try it. This is a moisture care lucky find is the name of the brand the english says ingredients list this side says not much so let's open the box 
Ah, this looks like it's a lipstick. I like, um, and this one is not warm. This is a little warm, but not as warm as the other one. Oh, this is a, I remember what this is. This is a mosquito repellent. It's a natural smell like a citronella and you just roll it on your skin. So when you go out, you don't get chewed up alive like I do always. This is the famous, you can get it for just scents jar opener because I can't open jars. I always ask James to, so I used to be able to, and then I have lost grips in my hands. So I'm trying not to make as much rattly sounds. These are some cool purse. I had these in silver, so I want to get them in gold. So I bought them in gold. These are USB cables because I always need these. These are C cables. Um, James is very good. He doesn't really, um, I'm almost fanatical about how low my battery gets <laughs> and he doesn't. He's like, oh, I have 10% battery and I'm like, <gasps> you know, but he's like, no, no, it's fine. This I got for my cute niece. This is a cute little bag. It has a little, um, I forgot the name of this pony series, but she has a lot of these ponies. Um, and this is again, smaller than I expected. But um, she'll like it. If she's nine. She'll love it. This is a sink basket that you you put on your sink to hold sponges and stuff. I mean, random stuff. Random things. I'm like, oh, that looks good. The random purse loops because I'm always looking to extend purses and chains. Oh, this is really pretty. I'll go ahead and open this one and make all the noise. I really, really thought this was a very pretty purse extender and I bought two of them and they're plastic but they're hearts look how pretty that is they're just they look like they should be glass but they're really just a shiny glaze finish on plastic beads but I think it's really pretty and fun fun being the key here I bought two just so I like, I normally like to have my purse strap balanced. I got another lipstick. Now this is really warm. Um, these are perfume atomizers. You just fill them up with um, any perfume that has a spray. You, and then you fill those in the travel. I have a, what did, oh, I bought this for my niece. So I'm not going to open it, but inside this is... James, what are you doing? Ladder. Oh, ladder. He's putting in... We just put, ordered some air filters. So he is putting in, changing all the air filters. Um, this is a Hello Kitty necklace. You can't really see her face, but I don't want to open it because I want my niece to open it. But basically, it's a crystally... Crystally Hello Kitty. Trust me, it's cute. Oh, this I got for my sister. She adores seahorses, and I thought she'd love this. She likes to put these on her denim jackets for Spirit Week, and she'll put them on hats. And um, and when you do that, you don't want to spend too much money on a brooch or a pin because the likelihood is it's going to get damaged. These are larger um, hooks or a different pair of insoles. I think I like these ones better than the other ones, but... The proof is in the wear, not in the looks. This four box has been smushed. I'll give this to James to see if he can install it in the car for my phone. It's a hold a phone, a phone holder. I'll take a let's see. We'll see. It can't hurt. I think it was less than ten dollars. Let's see. This is a mineral. Oh, I think there's a lipstick in a weird. You should see the pile of stuff. You think bad mount bag mountain looks bad, and you know I clean up bag mountain like every day almost. You know I rearrange things, put it different places. Oh, this is a lipstick. Get that pretty color. I I just went to town on lipsticks. Um, I like bullet lipstick. I, I was never a fan of the liquid lips. They weren't really meant for me. This, I love these. These I use for my stitching projects. And I've bought these before. 
for like one of these, I paid three times as much as I paid for all four of these. And um, if these work half as well, I'll be thrilled. And it's, they probably are the exact same thing because I'm pretty sure the ones I bought before were also made in China. You know, so I use all those for my stitching projects. So I can, oh, this is what took so much space up. I'm going to throw this in the wash. This is a fitted sheet, king size fitted sheet. Now I was very interested about this because I bought a blanket from them. It worked out fine. But this is a, it didn't bleed or anything, but I was watching some other people doing reviews and they were talking about, well, it could bleed. I'm like, well, I don't, I don't know. Um, and if it does, if you ever have textiles that bleed, you can just throw vinegar and salt in a, in a and it will set the dye. Uh, through a cycle and then wash it again and then as soon as you dry it it sets it yeah. so this feels like polyester which is what it is um, but um, I live with a giant Great Dane with nails and those nails rip everything so he just ripped a set of sheets so I was hoping maybe these was these would be uh, sturdier because um, buying a hundred percent cotton sheets and having them destroyed it only happens so many times before you're like, okay, I will learn how to sleep on sheets that are not cotton. Um, let's see what this is. This must be... Their labeling is very interesting. In other words, lack of labeling. This is why everybody is always, when you watch Timu, Timu Hall, they're like, okay, let me look at the invoice because I don't even know how they find the stuff to put into I mean everything has like a barcode so I'm pretty sure everything's like mechanical oh this is really cute this is a ring and I gambled on this one because these are one of these self adjusting rings now one of the other rings I bought earlier um I gave to my sister because it didn't on my skin stop looking at my face there we go it has a it's a fidget ring, so it just, you spin it, and it's supposed to be any, oh, it moves pretty easy. You know what? We'll see how it goes. It's very inexpensive. It's not made very well. It's not meant to be a great, well-made item. It's a costume jewelry. So we'll see. This is um, a purse uh, decoration that I, I've had before. This is charging plug the more charging cables this is what I really love about Timu it's honestly these things like costume jewelry that costs you know 90 cents um, some of the earrings I'm wearing right now these um these are from Timu I like them <coughs> this necklace this big necklace and this big these are stainless steel which I'm not allergic to so these I found in the men's jewelry section and I'm like okay so this is but underneath it, this is a, this is sterling silver, and this is stainless steel, and I'm okay with the look. I'm fine with it. Um, I ooh, of course, of course, I bought two. I didn't need two. Why did I buy two? I guess my sister will be getting one of those. Oh, and these I thought were so pretty. I had these from Amazon in white, and these are purse extenders again. And this is just. Oh, these are cord keepers. You put these on the end of things and you can, all those cords are just purchased. You can make them a little neater. Uh, some more round. I guess I was going through all of my purse things and decided I needed um, more. I don't, oh, this is another, this is a, a bracelet, Hello Kitty bracelet for my niece. I'm sure that did not show up well. If I drop something in, that makes me nervous, so let me get that. Mm. So this is, oh, tweezers. Just tweezers. Of course, that's the last thing you want to drop, because when these get misaligned, you might as well throw them out. This is a measuring, magnetic measuring chart that I could stick on my oven or whatever is magnetic, and it's about... It's, it's um, conversions uh, to millimeters and teaspoons and um, this is a scrubbing for a pot scrubber for pots that really have the, um, I use that with like bartender's friend and I scour the back of pots. Oh, the other side of the purse extender 
and another chain necklace, stainless steel, another cable, this one, this is, yep, this is C, it's C, I guess I was just in a mood that day of getting tired of having not finding my cables and just bought a whole bunch of new ones. More rings, more, I really like this necklace, I might change into this one. It's a different chain link. Okay, I'm at the end of this bag, and I actually have another bag, but this video is getting far too long as it is, so we're going to go through this last bit here, and then I'm going to turn this off and do a, oh, earrings. Really cool, I'll have to pull these out. Um, this is tool. I'm not sure why I bought this tool. Oh, this is one of those clean your phone things. Um, this is just a purse chain. I'm not too thrilled with the quality of that one. That's probably one of the, the finish is what I'm looking at. This is another uh, extender purse and some more rings. All different sizes, all different colors, another lipstick. Let me show you these earrings though, because these ones are really pretty and this um, plastic is not doing them justice at all. Oh, I only bought one side. Oh, no, I bought two sides. Okay, good. Sometimes you have to be, you have to watch all this because a lot of the times they have uh, moon and stars. I might wear these. I might give them to my sister. I don't know. Jennifer wears really bright, bold jewelry as a teacher and um, her students love it. I tend to wear things like this because I wear headphones. So we will see. Anyhow, thank you for watching my rambly fun video of random things and I will put this all away and then I will film another video and uh, talk to you later. Thank you. Bye.